Tamaraus, Ojaricre and Paddy tip it off. You know, these are two teams that still have a legitimate shot at uh, getting that fourth spot, Isaac. Yeah, and you see the difference between their stories around that number. Because once you don't pass that number, you're relying on a lot of tiebreakers, as you mentioned earlier in the pregame. You have to rely on teams winning and losing. Your fate, your fate is not in your hands anymore. You have to rely on others. Six minutes uh, remaining here in the uh, opening period as Yero fires and scores. Does it go to work down low in the post? He may play the three, maybe the two, but this guy has some post game in his back. Three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Bautista goes right. Bautista runner is good. I only what did he had one of the more difficult shots so far for FU in the first quarter, and he manages to make it. Here's Erolon coming off the bench. Good fake. Excellent pass to Mario Garassi. And Erelon just gave FAU a case of their own medicine. So FAU now with four points on the board. And FAU now going to that press to find a way to get some early transition points. But right now it backfire with a great press break of Adamson. So last shot time, who will FAU go to? They get the right the last sentence of the first chapter. Of course, they go to LJ Gonzalez, huh? Belche. Bautista for three. Yes, sir. And he's one of the, the better shooting guards of FBU, shooting at 38%. And what a welcome sight for the FBU Tamara. I was legitimately terrified. We were all excited for what more you're going to wear today. No, I didn't. They certainly need him to put on the points uh, here in the first half. Here's Bautista. Bautista. Torres. Torres has been quiet uh, here in the opening quarter. And now Baguno fires a three. That's good. And the FEU trained their foreman to shoot those threes. In the meantime, here's Bacujos. Vince Bacujos at the post. Nice move. And you see now the Adamson's MO attack the team. Bautista. Against Anapi, good move. Jorik Bautista for three. And Jorik Bautista hunted the mismatch, went to his bag, and now he has 13 big points. Jose Gonzalez has scored or assisted. In the last 15 points, ah, so no Ateneo game, no last 15 points, he was clutch. They'll need that clutch miss if they want to get back in this game. He's in Asa Janio for that reason. Ang tanina niya. Parang, but masyado ano na atay. Thinking 10 steps ahead. As we go to Tempra, Tempra gets Magbujos. Torres for three. Yes, sir! Cyrus Torres actually changed his shot. Earlier in the game, wasn't looking to elevate a lot. Looks like he was just looking to hop into it. But that time, he elevated and got that extra power to make the shot. However, still a 10-point lead for Adamson. The drive by Sabatal. The basket is good. No fear whatsoever. Saw the rim protector. And he did the smart thing, was to speed it up. Let's take a look right here. Got past the first defender. Got it off quickly, not allowing Mo Fatty to get involved. And he'll be rewarded with a bonus free throw. The FU Tamara has entered the game with identical 3 and 5 records. Uh, we'll bring you the second half after these messages. Um, more, but much more difficult, and that's why he struggled early. And Sabandal gets away. Oh! He landed on Sabandal, and Sabandal, <laughs> now you have to explain who Jill is oh, no, no, no. to our wider no, audience. No, no, no. Uh, Surprise, and then Yen 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 Fatty scores. Oh, and honestly, that can be his go-to move, right? to catch fire. And that's why you can see right now it's Yero, one of Adamson's premier defenders on Jorik. Because he's got the speed, he's got the size, and you see that Jorik had a hard time with that percent. But oh. open look for LJ Gonzalez, and it has to come from a broken plate. <laughs> he's not in uniform today, might not return 
uh, here for uh, season 86 or sad news for Adamson. But even without that Mimosa, this Adamson team is playing inspired basketball with that three-point shot by Kalisa. Under five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Soaring Falcons definitely soaring here in the third period. Sleep wide open, Tempra. And even Jed Colonia was trying to say, I want to help, but I have LJ Gonzalez. And he got caught between a rock and a hard place. I don't, 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 I don't want to use that term anymore. <laughs> but really, it's something that has to do with a lot, having a lot of guts. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's a nice way to put it. It's a better way to put it. <laughs> better, better LJ is that kind of player too. And perfect timing. Way to respond. And now he has 10, joining Jordan with 13. His son is actually quite the basketball player too, and uh, you know, in just a, in a couple of years, you might see his son play in the UAP as well, as uh, Patrick Machado. Eight and a half remaining in the ball game, sleep against Kalisai. Tamara still down by 16 points. Bautista, good defense by Erolon. And then Gonzalez gets the three. I think this is probably maybe the third or fourth connection. Bautista to Gonzalez. I don't want to ask how long ago that was. I don't ask. <laughs> As LJ gets a swipe. Bounce pass to Baguio from Bautista. And don't look now. It's single digit. Adamson would be less than a minute away from win number four. Great pass. Montebon to Kalisa. And that's where, looking to the weak side, knowing that everyone will try to gamble on the short passes. And he makes a dime of a pass for the bus. No, because I have a good partner today who's just letting me have fun. <laughs> As Gonzalez step back. Yes, sir. That's a three. Hey. You know, Adams' defense has been excellent against LJ and he still will finish with 18 points in this game. In the second half alone, looks like it'll be an MS Jorik this time gonna come out. They need it quick. Boris has it. He fires a three. That's good! I don't know what for these MPU guards today. They never want the easy shot. They want the one with the difficulty set to the max. And expect to try to win the game. Six seconds remaining. Bautista. He will launch the three. The Addison Sorting Falcons hold on despite a late rally by FDU Joshua Yero. And the Falcons will win 63 54. Our top scorer for Adamson is Joshua Yero. He and set the tone for Adamson. Defense. And, and through Adamson fashion, he finished the game with only 11, only 11 points. That's, that's, it's the kind of season that Adamson has had.